In this tutorial, we'll look at a multi-digit subtraction example involving decimals. Example, 1223.09 minus 104.1. First step, line it up. Same as before, as long as we align the decimals, everything else falls into place. Everything is lined up, so we're ready to start. Starting in the right-hand column, in the hundredths column, we have 9 minus nothing. So we just put 9 in our answer. Now that was easy. Of course, if you prefer, you could have had the 0 here. 9 minus 0 is also 9. Next column is the tenths column. We have 0 minus 1. Problem, 0 is less than 1. So we have to borrow from the 3 in the 1's column here. 3 becomes 2, and we can move 10 over to the tenths column. Now we have 10 minus 1 is 9. The decimal spot. And we remember that we simply move the decimal down to our answer right below. And we're on the other side of the decimal in the 1's column. We're left with a 2 on the top. And again, we need to borrow. The 2 in the 10 spot becomes a 1, and we move 10 over to the 1 spot for a total of 12. And 12 minus 4 is 8. In the 10s column, we now have 1 minus 0 equals 1. And in the 100s column, we have 2 minus 1 is 1. Finally, the thousands column, we have 1 minus nothing, so that's just a 1. And we're done. Let's ensure that we remember to bring the decimal down to the answer, just a good double check. And it's there. Now, of course, we can check our answer with an addition. So if we take our 1118.99 answer and add it to 104.1, Let's see what we come up with. The decimals are aligned. 9 plus nothing equals 9. 9 plus 1 equals 10. So we'll mark the 0 and carry the 1. 8 plus 4 plus the carried 1 is 13. So we'll mark the 3 and carry a 1 again. 1 plus 0 plus the carried 1 equals 2. And 1 plus 1 equals 2. And finally, 1 plus nothing equals 1. And so we check. And yes, we have a match. It's all confirmed. 